a really nice morning this morning, which was a good start. We had breakfast, and this is the breakfast bar, and then we headed out into the mean streets of Troyes. We headed first to the Museum of Apothecary and Stained Glass. We had a little bit of difficulty finding the entrance, but finally we found it. And this is the courtyard, again beautifully restored. Inside, the apothecary only had two rooms, but wow, what two rooms they were. And anyone who likes flooring, which we do, the flooring was really beautiful and very well restored. The second room was a little bit disappointing, but it had loads of information and again, beautifully displayed. We then went up to the Stained Glass Museum and this had mixed reviews from us. It was quite interesting. I think more interesting if you were in the business of restoring stained glass, but all the same, it was reasonably interesting. We're glad we did it. We nearly missed the chapel and I'm really glad we didn't. In fact, Tom pointed it out and it was through a, a door which didn't look like we should have gone into. And look at it. It is amazing. It's sort of subtle, but at the same time, it's got so much pizzazz again about it. The ceiling is just stunning. It's just beautiful and the light, we were really lucky because it was sunny. Another glimpse of the ceiling in two parts. And then it was coffee at the Mille Zola Street. Back on the mean streets of Troyes. I don't know where everybody is, but we went to the indoor market and um, we had high hopes from the outside, but inside, very few of the stalls were open and um, it was a little bit disappointing but we found a couple of people with things to sell. We opted for this chap. We bought some quiches and a pâté en croûte and then it's again outside. Everywhere you look is pretty and spotless. This is on our way back to the hotel. And this is really odd. It's a sort of pedestrian way with these massive pots. And this is the Alley of the Cats, which is Troyes is famous for. It looks a bit scruffy. And I think there's having some restoration done. And this is the view the other way. And then we sort of turned into a courtyard. And the courtyard turned out to be rather amazing. And lucky with the sun as well. So this is the carving to the courtyard entrance. And then as you turn round, this is what you see. I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, it's beautifully restored again. Another little side street with I don't know what's going on. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to go up it. More of these beautiful timber buildings, really tall, and the yellow hasn't really come out. Finally, we went to the patisserie shop and we picked um, a couple of things to have this afternoon. Tom picked the banana. I'm not sure whether it was the best choice. But it was a lovely old-fashioned shop and the lady serving us was really kind and patient. And these are our purchases for today. They served as lunch and supper. And this is my egg. I brought this egg at the patisseries because I thought it was filled with praline. Now having held it, it seems rather hollow and it shakes. So I think it's a sort of 
Kinder Egg. Oops. <laughs> and well, there's a little fish and two little eggs and a little shell. So not bad. 